Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to test a vacuum pump uh, on a car engine. Um, the pump that I'm going to be dealing with in the video is a mechanical pump which is basically driven on this car by the exhaust camshaft. So if the engine's running, the vacuum pump's running so it's always on. Now some cars have an electric vacuum pump so that means that they're not always on it. It's, it's the electric pump is brought in in situations where the car needs additional vacuum assistance. So that might be on cold start up so your brakes work okay on a cold engine or it might be during low speed manoeuvres. So you're not going to be getting a, a constant reading if you've got an electric vacuum pump so you need to check what the duty cycle is for your particular electric pump if that's the case but on this mechanical pump it's on all the time and the readings that are in the video will be the readings that you're looking for so um, there's also a little extra bit specific for Volvo D5s um, but the whole video sh should still be of, uh, of use to most car owners so um, let's go out and let's test this vacuum pump okay so we've got the engine running and I've disconnected the hose from the um, from the vacuum pump and I'll show you that now and all I've done is connected this length of hose to it so I'll just show you see just there that's moving and it's connected to the vacuum pump on that elbow just there and then we bring it up follow it up and at the end I've just got a connection just here you can feel the vacuum on it and then I've got my vacuum tester just here so I've got a hose from the vacuum tester and I'm just going to plug this into the hose of the vacuum tester and then watch what the needle does. What we're looking for is for the needle to go to full reading and be steady. Oops. And there you see it. Full, full vacuum reading, no flickering of the needle and that shows that the vacuum pump doesn't have any leak and is working absolutely fine and if I disconnect this there we go and then I just remove the oil filler cap So we've got that D5 popping noise, that's because the vacuum pump has a leak at the moment because this pipe has an open end, but if I cover it, the popping noise goes. So that's how you directly test the vacuum pump, and so as long as you've got that steady needle, if you've got that steady needle, the popping noise disappears when you cover that up and you're testing directly on the vacuum pump then you know that the vacuum pump is absolutely fine and then I'll just pop this back on again Oops. pop this back on watch the needle We'll watch the needle and listen for the noise disappearing. Simple as that. This vacuum pump is absolutely fine. Thanks for watching. 